you put specific feeling into that voice? I know it depends on what you're saying, but the voice in general... Here's what's interesting. Not really. The first episode, I got a call that Lucas wanted to change the voice. Wonderful actor, David Faust, has a tenor voice. Lucas probably expects him wants to use a darker voice. I was lucky to get the job. We did it an hour and a half with commensurate pay, an hour and a half work. Uh, no, no one knew what we had. No one knew what value it was or how popular it would be. When the second one came around, we had to figure out what we did right. So it was just it was a recording session. And I get in there, and I'm trying to make the character more human and more interesting. And Lucas said, you know, I've heard you rehearse it several times. I think the answer is to go back to a very, very narrow band of expression. He doesn't express things. He's not human. At least his voice is not human. So you can't make him more human. Go back to what you were doing. It's simple, yeah. straightforward. Um, not even emotionally involved. Isn't it interesting how that initial hour and a half that it that you when you spoke for that voice that really did change a lot in your career. It, it was a, became a huge part of your. Career. Well, you know, it began my my work in commercials. Because then Chrysler wanted the voice of authority that so they, they saw in Darth Vader and good year tire and, and, and white mule gloves and I got all these wonderful little commercials out, out of just out of being the voice of authority. What do you think of that? The fact that you're seen as the vo- voice of authority. Do you do you feel that way? That I mean, do you, have you are you an authoritative person? I, I'm a stutterer, and stutterers are not very authoritative. No. Uh, we, we can bluff like anybody, but uh, we're usually pretty humble about speech. You so still we, consider yourself a oh, stutterer, am, even I'm, though it... I am a stutterer. You, you, when you listen, you hear me stuttering all the time. But then Marlon Brando made stuttering sort of the way Americans talk, didn't he? <laughs> Him and Jimmy Stewart, too. Yeah, yeah.